Hey guys, how's it going? It's DJ Faithson 20 here, and welcome to Week 4 Fantasy Football Tips. I'm going to say what I think should happen Week 4 for Fantasy Football, trying to give you an in-depth analysis, see what you can do. Um, you don't have to agree with me, you don't have to do it. But I think these would be decent moves to make as of this week. So, starting off, here we go. I see somebody to look at this week would be Cincinnati Bengals running back, Joe Mixon. Yes, I know it's crazy to think he didn't have that much production. However, he played 30, 34 snaps compared to 14 by Hill and 30 by Gio Bernard. So definitely he got more snaps, so which could equal more yards if you have any of those guys. Um, he didn't do too bad. I think he'd be a good player to look at this week. So tell me what you think about that, and let's go to the next one. So this one, with the season-ending injury of Darren Sproul with a broken arm and a torn ACL, you should go out and get Smallwood. So Smallwood is basically like many Sproles at this point, and he's been doing the same job, almost the same speed. So if you're looking for a back like that to replace Darren Sproles, go out and get Smallwood. I mean, he'd be a really great pick to get same teams, same offense, so you'll know that he'll get the decent amount of production that Sproles did. Next one, Willie Sneed, wide receiver for New Orleans, is returning after his suspension. Now, he's going to re- have to replace Teddy Ginn Jr. as the number two receiver, so that's okay. Um, he, although Teddy Ginn Jr. did score a touchdown, he has been averaging like three catches, four yards per game as of right now. Sneed, I mean, he isn't that quick by NFL standards. But at least he's, you know, good. We'll get the ball from from Drew Brees. And overall, I think he'll have a good week. First weekend, you never know. He'll have another target other than Michael Thomas. So that's another person to look into. Another person you could look into getting, if especially if you're in one of the bigger leagues with more teams, is Jamal Charles, running back for Denver. So yes, he's been played with injuries in his career. However, he's been doing really decent, being C.J. Anderson's backup, getting a decent amount of touches, even getting the touchdown in the last week's game. So, uh, I mean, just look into that. He's a pretty pretty good, solid two-back if you need another back in your league. So, that's another person to look for. As you know, Tyler Eifert is injured. However, if you're looking for a good tight end to fill in a spot, get Pittsburgh Steelers tight end Jesse James. He's right now ranking 8th among all tight ends in points. I know, averaging 10.9 points per week. So, if you're looking for a tight end to replace Eifert, I would pick Jesse James. That's a good, good pickup, and I would not be against picking him up. Next one would be Tyrod Taylor. After a great game against the Broncos, he would not be a bad quarterback to get with his running, his passing. He can get you multiple points on either side doing that. Um, again, had a great game. He plays the Atlanta Falcons, so, I mean, never know. Um, he could potentially shoot out with Matt Ryan, which would be awesome to see. So if you have, not have Tyrod Taylor, I would look into getting him. Another quarterback which you could consider getting, like if you're in a two-quarterback league or if your quarterback's injured, would be Deshaun Watson. Only 14% of the people own him, but the Houston quarterback had a great game against the New England Patriots, coming down to the Hail Mary pass at the end. Um, if you don't have him, I would consider maybe going out and getting him, um, just to see how he does. If you don't like him, you don't have to. I'm just saying, in perspective, he had a good week, and he plays the Titans next week. So you don't know if he'll do good or bad, but I think it could be worth looking into. Next one you should consider in getting, if, if nobody has him as right now, will be Jared Goff of the Los Angeles Rams. Only 12% of people own him in fantasy leagues. Um, as of right now, for, for the whole year, he's thrown five touchdowns, one interception. Um, I think that matches his total touchdowns for last year. But if you're looking for a person who could be getting some deep threats and good passes, I think you should look at him. He has Todd Gurley, a good two-way back. He has good receivers that can go deep, short routes, and I think that would be a decent player to look out for. Another person to look into is Vernon Davis. He's Washington's backup tight end. Um, now, with this one, you may have to wait until you know if Reed is going to miss a game. So if he does, I would not go against picking up Vernon Davis as he had five catches for 58 yards and a touchdown. So you never know. Um, I still think that'd be a great pickup. Just look for the rest of the week just to see if Reed played or not. Players who I would not suggest getting... Maybe Case Keenum, I mean, he had a really good game uh, against the Buccaneers. However, I still would just urge not to get him. Um, you know, I, I don't know, maybe maybe I'm wrong here, maybe you go out and get him, I don't, it's up to you, but 
I just don't know. I think it may have been a fluke, so I just check out on that. If you're looking for a quarterback, you can go with other quarterbacks I listed earlier, but I'm not sure about Case Keenum as right now. So that's really all I gotta say. My tips, pointers on fantasy football this week. If you have any, you know, maybe questions about fantasy, maybe even you know thinking what you want to do, or what you should do, what other people should do for fantasy, don't be afraid to comment it down below. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching again, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.